Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a receptacle that does not work. This is my outlet tester that has been plugged into this receptacle that isn't working. And you see there are no lights lit. This is a very dangerous situation. If all the circuit breakers in the house are on, but you get this indication of no lights, that can be a very dangerous situation. Now let's plug it in on another outlet on the same circuit and you see that this one is correctly wired because it has two green lights lit on the wiring indications chart. So there is electricity in this circuit but our indication is no lights and that means open hot. That means that there may be a broken or loose hot wire in this box. That's why this situation is extremely dangerous. If you are not very experienced with electrical work, my recommendation is to call an electrician because this one is really dangerous. It's a situation where you could open up this box thinking that the electricity is off because there's no indication here on your tester. But actually there is an indication. It's no lights and that means open high. This is my Klein voltage detector. It is showing electricity in the first box in the circuit here and it detects all the way down to 12 volts AC so it's a good one to use on the outside of a receptacle it's because, because it's very sensitive. We're not showing anything over here though but that does not mean that there isn't a hot wire in there because the, the broken wire may be far enough back in the box that it doesn't read on this tester. I'll test my fluke voltage detector as well so we know that, that both of these testers are working properly. So we're unable to detect any electricity in this box but proceed with extreme caution. My advice before working on this box is to turn off all the electricity to the house because if you just turn off the circuit breaker you may get the incorrect circuit breaker. See you have no indication that the electricity is on so you won't get any indication when you turn off one circuit breaker that this is the correct circuit breaker to turn off. Okay, I've turned off all the electricity to the house. I'm going to take out the outlet tester and I'm going to remove the wall plate and the receptacle. This is my fluke voltage detector that I've tested on a known live circuit earlier to make sure it works and I'm just double checking the box to make sure that everything is off. Okay, here's the broken hot wire right here. This is what's causing the problem. It broke off right here. Examine the wire, make sure there's no nicks in the insulation and so forth. Make sure it's still good. Now I'll cut a new end here. Strip a new end on the wire. The black wire always goes to one of the bronze terminals. You put it right in there like that and tighten up the terminal. Before we proceed, let's make sure the neutral wire is connected very well and there's no nick in the neutral wire. We can see that the ground wires are well connected. This uh, woggle is a woggle lever nut and you see that all three of the ground wires are all the way in. Back here you can see that the box is bonded. So all the wiring is good now. Now I'll take some black electrician's tape and wrap it around the receptacle a couple of times for safety. Now dress the wires, which means to put the appropriate bends in the wires, and tighten down the box and then put on the wall plate. I have turned the electricity to the house back on, that is all the circuit breakers, and I'm going to use my outlet tester and it shows, this time it shows two green lights, which indicates correct wiring. And once again I'll check the other receptacle on the circuit and it also shows two green lights and all of the outlets show two green lights. So now we're properly wired. We have fixed an extremely dangerous situation of open hot which was causing this receptacle to not work. I'll put links in my video description for the Fluke 117 True RMS Electrician's Multimeter, and I'll put links for the Fluke Alligator Clip Set, Woggle Lever Nuts in the 2, 3, and 5 
connector sizes, as well as the multi-pack that includes an organizer. And I'll put a link for the new Wago lever nuts in the 10 gauge sizes. The Klein NC VT3 voltage detector, which also doubles as a really nice flashlight. The Fluke voltage detector. And the ideal circuit breaker finder, which includes a transmitter, which can be used as a really good outlet tester. The receiver and the transmitter together make an excellent circuit breaker finder. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.